All right, here's a great old standard um, that I've played in the past, and uh, it, it, there's so, so much to learn here. Nice, simple melody, and uh, we're going to do a chord melody style. Uh, but before I jump into a chord melody style, I think I'm just going to comp through it a little bit and explain the chord progression to you. So we start with a five, a five chord, G7. <laughs> going to a one chord, well, at least that's what it appears to be, of C major. Then we have a 2-5 in, um, in the key of B flat, but we never actually, we never actually get there. Uh, and it's, a, it's a nice little trick because what it does is uh, it goes from the, the that major one, right, C major, and then it, it goes to a minor one. Right, really nice effect, um, but it goes to the five with that minor one. So it sort of gives you the impression you're going from major to minor. And the melody does the same thing. And then uh, uh, we, we go to G major 7. Uh, so um, uh, th th that's a j that just sort of appears after, after the 2-5 the in, in, uh, in f essentially B flat, right? Then we go to the, f uh, the G major 7. And then another two five one two five. I'm sorry, which would be a two five in A flat, a semitone up from G flat, and then we have a two five in G, and then a three six in G, A seven secondary dominant. And then two five, and then we're back to that C. So what's happening here is well, a bunch of stuff is happening, but um, uh, it gives the impression that we're in the key of C at the top, but we're not actually in the key of C. We're in the key of G. It just takes a while to get there. So we start with the four chord in the key of G. And then we go to the four minor in the key of G and adding it, it its related dominant in the key of G. And then we go up a semitone to the B flat minor and then the E flat seven, right? So uh, th that's the best way to explain this. It just, it just uh, raises the key up a semitone. And then, and then we're back to G, falls back to G, uh, two, five in G without resolving to G. And then two, uh, three and six in G, one more time, secondary dominant of A7, which would normally lead to, uh, to D7. But we have sort of an interpolation going to the A minor, which is the the true two, and it it sort of it sort of squeezes its way between the from the A seven to just the D seven, and falls. We got a moving voice there, falling to the A minor and then D seven, and then this rather interesting D flat seven. Uh, which we can explain by calling it a tritone substitution leading to tritone substitution for G7 leading to C major. And then the same sort of thing happens happens all over again on the second in the second 16. So let's let's just comp through this. We have C major 7 to C minor. Seven G major up a semitone to five three six. And there's that nice 
dominant, dominant falling to the A minor. And that D flat 7 takes us back to that C major 7. semitone D seven two five three six and two five one right and, and that that's really cool how how that resolution to the G is is held back for the entire 32 measures. Uh, it, we, we never actually strongly resolve to the G until we get to the very end and it says, see, we're in the key of G. And then we turn back around. Very common as well, you know, to have a turnaround back to, back to the top. Okay, so let's add the melody uh, to to that. On the on those co two chords, and I'm resolving to. Okay, so let's just take a look at that. Uh, uh, sort of a slightly closer look. I'm trying to keep it simple, and uh, so here's our C major seven with the B melody on top. Oh, well, let's start with the G seven with the B melody on top. And then C minor with the third on top. And then just going to the F. You could make it a diminished. And then this is the G. I'm playing a G like this. Uh, major seven on the bottom. And then I could go to the six. And then A, a B flat minor. flat seven same melody note B minor or we could go um, what I'm playing here is just an a9. seven here and now uh, a minor um, with the B up on top and then uh, and then dropping down to that D flat seven which is leading us back to C major
just playing a short version, double stop version of a B flat minor. Leading to the E7. on top, the melody note, and then D, let's make it a uh, diminished or flat 9, G, and then we turn around, now that's just a D minor, just fancier, and Yeah, something like that. A great tune, and uh, and I think it's for those of you who have been working on your chord melody stuff and don't want uh, something that's really really difficult. Um, I, th this would be this would be a nice um, a nice place to start. Uh, as, as far as uh, as fills and chords, uh, like fills underneath the chords. Uh, goes uh, there. There's of course lots of stuff you can do there, but the best the best place to start uh, is just chords, scales. You can just experiment with the with the fretboard. Um, look at where stuff is. Connect your chords up and down the fretboard. Doesn't matter what chord it is, uh, and and just just start connecting the fretboard a little bit. You don't have to play necessarily big comping chords. You know this can be a B flat minor. This can be E seven. Right there's there's lots of different uh, different things you can do if you know what notes are important and what notes uh, belong in the chords. The third and the seventh are usually the most important notes in the chord, and it's nice to uh, land on those at the right time. <laughs> okay, um, that's it. Uh, you know, uh, the, the, this is uh, constricted by, you know, the length of a, of a uh, reasonable YouTube video. Uh, so uh, I hope that gives you something to start with. Comp your way through uh, the, uh, the chords and... Uh, and then make yourself familiarize yourself with the melody and then start putting the melody and the chords together and try to also um, analyze the chord progression. It's a big deal when you come to the soloing part, right? Where you're not just playing an arranged chord melody, but you, you want to you wanna just jump off the cliff and start to solo so it makes sense 
and so it still sounds like the song. Okay, <laughs> hey, that's all. That's all you have to do. Okay, good, and uh, and thanks for that, and Merry Christmas, and see you soon. Bye.